Hey everybody, my name is Letitia Robb. I'm originally from San Jose, California, born and raised. Lived in Atlanta 13 years, moved to Puerto Rico a couple years. Now I got a couple, now I got some land here. Y'all, this is Queen L. Listen to what she said about the land of Burkina. And JT. Yes. Queen L. Queen L is going live. Queen L is live. Yo, Ken, what's up with you? See, I told you my, my people was going to show up eventually. You can learn a lot from her. You look good. I just You look damn good. Yes. Your, your queen is back. I'm in the building, waiting for some of my um, regulars. I'm probably being watched by people who don't usually watch me or know me. Y'all need to follow Queen L. People who know me, they be like, what's up, Queen L? Oh, the Queen is back. That's right. Always. I've been here, you know, I've just, just been not going live because life has been life in me. I just say that. When I got back to the States, I had so much to do, I just wasn't ready to sit down and do this. But here we are. Y'all can get the best out of me if you ask me questions. What's up, YouTube? You always be tagging me in your videos. I ain't got nothing to do with them folks, bro. I don't got nothing to do with them. They wish. They wish that I had something to do with them or that I would mention them. I'm not, I ain't got nothing to do with them people. But I'll, I'll say this, I will say this. Everything that I said in the beginning of what I had going on, I was I was right, because it's being proven every day. I ain't got to say much of, of nothing. So I was like, I'm going to Africa. And my friend, I've been saying I want to go to Africa, but I was like, I want to go somewhere other than Ghana, South Africa, Kenya, places that people, Americans go, I want to go somewhere else. So I put that out there in the universe. Then one of my friends sent me, and I have the proof of that too, because you know, some people try to claim that they was the reason why people did the things they did, but I, I posted, a, I have a tweet that's pinned on my Twitter, Queen L, no it's L underscore underscore Rob, um, March of 2020. I want to move somewhere in Africa besides South Africa, and, uh, you know. And, and so one of my friends saw this YouTube video of an American out there doing what they was doing. And that's how I even heard about it. But me wanting to be there, go there, pay my own way, because ain't nobody sponsored me, cause, like other folks got sponsored. But, um, you know, let me see what say. They was on my level. They wish I would even mention them, talk to them, smell the direction that they're in. I would never, I could never. They could never. You feel me? My 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 reputation is is impeccable. My 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 word, my bond. You know, you ain't gonna Google my name and find nothing crazy. You gonna find good stuff if you Google my name. I remember everything you said, and it's all true. Did you get your money back for, from the land in Burkina? No, I didn't get the money back. However. I had, I did a, around, I went, we went to the chiefs and let them know of all this land and what's going on, this part right here is Letitia's. So I, I still have my land. I still have my land. I don't know about anybody else. I didn't want my money back for the land because I put my father's ashes on it. Some of the people who had their land, I don't know if they still got it because, you know, my situation was individual and how I handled it was individual. Um, but, and I'll tell you where the land is, cause I went to the land. Like, I don't know, a lot, a lot of the people weren't able to go to it, but I went and I was able to, first off, go offer the chief some, some, um, I, I brought a rooster and a hen. I brought a whole bunch of rice. I gave all the mothers m money. There was like seven of them. And, you know, kind of made my own rapport with them and I went to the land personally and I'll tell you right now like nothing is going on over there but that little uh that little shack that they built we all respect the queen so no mods needed I know that's right but yeah so that little shack was the only thing on there and and the water well and you know the details about that are going to be in the book because 
you know, I just say y'all, the wool has been pulled over your eyes. But um, that area of Burkina is not built up. It's not nothing going on over there um, in that respect. It, it is a village back there, but um, the reason why I kept the area that I have is because, like I said, I put my dad's ashes there. Also, there's a bunch of mature shea butter trees. So whenever I decide I want to go back and, you know, use the natural resources on the land, I, you know, it's something there for me. It's shea. I seen you at the land when you spread your father's. Oh, you were, oh, you saw it. So that's understood within the community, the village, the chiefs. You know, I'm, I'm good with those, with those people. So it wasn't about the money for me. It's about keeping the land. So I still have my land. My portion of that land is still there. I can, I'm good at any hood. I can pull up right now. You know what I mean? So that part, that part. But I do have so many receipts that I'm putting in a book about all of that because folks think shit was, is sweet, they think it's over or whatever, I still have the opportunity and the right to tell my side of the story, but I'm gonna do it the way I want to, and it's not gonna be on no video, it's not gonna be impromptu, it's gonna be very well thought out. I've already started writing it, you know, I got, you know, people who try to delete their they histories on, uh, on WhatsApp, right, like the um, conversations and stuff, but uh, I already screenshotted them at the time. So, can't nobody play with me. I'm going to purchase the book when you put it out. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, I was even thinking about doing an uh, audio book, like narrating it and just saying it in my own words. That was crazy. Yes, people want to hear your story. Yeah, exactly. And I know that. And I just, you know, I'm not going to do it impulsively. You know, I was really hurt at the time because, you know, I was advised not to say anything or defend myself you know what i mean and i'm like but i, I didn't have to defend myself because the truth is the light but at the time the human in me wanted to go all the way there you know what i'm saying because i'm with the shit. i'll just tell you this nobody contacted me directly people, people got on on this app like right here and started talking shit. ain't nobody said nothing to me directly nobody pulled up on, on my face i'm one of them pull up on me type people call my phone directly you know what I'm saying my number didn't change everything you know, you know what I mean so but time has passed and you know uh, feelings have settled you know and I understand who I am who is I am I also understand that the truth is the light it's his story her story and the truth and my story matches the truth more than anything you know so I'm I'm okay with that I'm, I'm cool with it you know what I mean Things, many things have happened since then, uh, dealing with those folks that just basically proved that I was probably not the problem. But yeah, we still good. We still good. We not stressed. See, I just turned 44 last month. Uh, birthday. Happy late birthday, beautiful. Get out here. You know, I don't wear makeup. I think that ages women faster too. It's like putting stuff, putting stuff on their face. No makeup. You know, keep that thing clean. <laughs> keep it clean. Whoa. Right. Keep that thing clean, lady. Keep it clean. You know, she got her locks and stuff, they all put back. She got her little pearls and her little badge and whatnot. Yep. Oh yeah, I'm I'm the last, but certainly not the least, Gemini. I am. I am. I got Gemini Sun, Moon, Venus, and a Sagittarius rising. If y'all know anything about those things. So what's up y'all? Oh, you're a Sagittarius Pew? So you are, you know what it is. So the, the, my rising is how people see me or view me. They don't 
how many views you as a Gemini, I have to tell you that that's, that's the part. But yeah, there's some fire energy in me, for sure. So, I saw somebody, I don't even know who the dude is, but another victim of, of, the, of the dude, talking about, have y'all made an urn today? I said, I know he ain't taking a uh, few words. Hurricanes, like tornadoes. If I get with an air sign, they're mostly my friends, you know, and we come in and make it do what it do. Yo, Ken, what's up with you? See, I told you my, my people was gonna show up eventually. Go ahead, Queen Speak, girl. Yeah, they taking my stuff. Yeah, they don't even be trying to give you no credit either. They be hating like shit. I'm like, man, that's funny. That's funny. When I saw it, I said, either he must be a friend of his or he's just an outright stealer. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Mob Type? But yeah, folks. I'm great, Peter. How are you? Um, I ain't got nothing going on right now to be adding moderators yet, but I, you'll definitely be one of them on the list because you asked. You know, close mouth don't get fed. But nothing, nobody's in here acting a fool or needing, you know, the smack down to get put down or, you know, to help me calm it down. But yeah, I don't even know you like that. We'd have to, you know, grow some rapport. But yeah, I do know. Your, your queen is back. I'm in the building. <laughs>